Hello, Zippo fans all around the globe. Danny Jordan here for another artist live stream series, this time for the month of September. Hope you all have been fantastic since we chatted uh, last month with Ann Stokes. What an incredible live stream event that was. I hope you guys got your four lighter set. That thing was so incredible. And we have another drop coming to you here today. This one I am so incredibly excited about. I'm actually setting the mood here in the studio today. I've got the uh, the Zippo Bourbon Spice Candle. I don't know if you guys have checked out these uh, these these candles by Zippo, but they are absolutely stunning. It's called their Spirit Collection. So if you're looking for something to light with all those lighters you have in your collection, go to Zippo.com, uh, get some of those for the fall season. They are the perfect uh, fragrance to check out. Anyway, I'm so thrilled to be here, and I'm so thrilled for two guests that are going to be joining us here live virtually live here today from the company woodchuck who i'm sure i'm sure that so many of you are familiar with all around the globe before we bring in our first guest though did want to say you know please make sure you get active in the chat we source a lot of the questions that i ask during these live events so they come directly from the chat so if you have questions about the design process if you have questions about woodchuck as a company please make sure you post those in the comments i also love to see where you all are tuning in from. So let us know where in the world are you? And then the question that I ask every single time we do this artist live stream series event is how many Zippo lighters do you have in your collection? Hopefully you've got four more since <laughs> the last time we chatted and you added that Ann Stokes uh, set to your collection. If you didn't, uh, it is still available on the site. So make sure you go to Zippo.com to check that out. But anyway, without further ado, uh, I am so thrilled to bring this individual into the studio. Our first guest of two for this month's artist live stream series. Please welcome Ben from Woodchuck. Ben, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Danny. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You know, you and I were just like sort of offlining before we jumped here in the studio. We were mid conversation about motorcycle riding. Um, yeah. And then all of a sudden, like you disappeared off the screen. And I was like, I've got to know more about I've got to know more about the story. But uh, so thrilled to to have you here today. I just I'm so blown away by what you guys are doing uh, with 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 check. Excuse me. Uh, it's still early in the morning. The caffeine hasn't hit yet. Um, <laughs> but I'm just curious, you know, can you can you tell me like why? Why did you start? woodchuck as a company like what what was the motivation behind it yeah totally so i started woodchuck uh 10 years ago and uh, i was in college working a couple jobs to pay for college and one of them was building architectural models um for a architecture firm and i would laser cut out pieces of wood and i'd basically build these little models and i broke my phone one day coming uh coming back from cheer practice and stuck a wood sticker on my iphone at the time showed it to a couple of buddies and started selling it for 20 bucks or a case of beer, whichever one, uh, whichever one they were <laughs> down to down to do. But, um, right. And, uh, about a month after that, I sat down. So, so I started selling these kind of wood phone cases, but a month mm. after that, I sat down and watched a Simon Sinek Ted talk called start with why, um, for okay. those of you who haven't seen it, it's like absolutely inspirational. And, um, I had at this point enlisted one of my buddies to kind of help me sell these things. And, we sat down and we said, hey, look, we don't really want to just like make wood phone cases. We want to help connect people to nature, bring mm -hmm. jobs back to America and bring quality back to products. And from that day, 10 years ago, that is still our mission statement. It's pinned up all over our facility here. Um, it's how we you know, look at our partners. It's how we um, source things. It's, it's how we run our company. Um, so Amazing. that's kind of how it started with the mission statement and we've grown from there. You know, we've, we've started making all different kinds of custom wood products from packaging to wood journals to wood lighters. That's amazing. Now, now what drew you to trees? Like, why did you want to go that route right out of the gates yeah. and why is it, you know, withstood all these years? Yeah, totally. So, um, personally, so I grew up on a farm in Wisconsin. Um, we had trees that surrounded us all the time. We went camping all the time. For me, nature brings this really kind of elemental level of peace to myself, even through whatever kind of crazy chaos is going on. Just being in a national park, being in a national forest, being in nature, it has just this ability to kind of make your problems feel so small. 
So um, we're buy one, plant one. So the planting of a tree for every single product we make. And in this case, every single lighter that's produced, planting a tree came from, was actually a couple of years after the company started. Um, We were in San Francisco and we were working with, um, I believe it was uh, uh, Singularity University at the time. We were there for a big conference and we had done wood journals for their university. We were actually, we were walking through a state park it had a big sign that said a hundred years ago, there were no trees here. Whoa. And it kind of hit it, like, that was the moment it, it hit me like, wait, trees, like trees mm. is what creates most of these incredible national parks. It's what creates most of these incredible nature spaces across the world. Why don't we just start planting a tree for every product? So right. it started off super naive because planting a tree for every single product, you know, I was thinking, hey, we're going to make, you know, we're going to plant a thousand trees this year. Well, <laughs> within the first month of doing that, we had over like 30,000 trees we had to plant. Oh, my gosh. So the initial like idea of like, oh, we'll we'll buy some land. We'll go plant some trees. We'll have our team, you know, work on a Saturday we did our first planting as a team. We had 30 of our employees there and we went out to plant and we only planted about a thousand trees in that oh entire gosh. day. And I'm like, okay, this isn't going to work. We need something way more scalable than this. So, right. um, you know, over the past eight years, we kind of developed the program and have come to where we are now, which is, you know, planting over 3 million trees across uh, six different continents. Um, it's incredible. Working with incredible partners like Zippo uh, in in developing incredible products uh, that you know reforest the planet. So that's absolutely amazing, and and I'm I'm sure a lot of people are excited to see this design that that we're going to reveal today. And and I've got it here, the Zippo Plus uh, woodchuck uh, design, which we are revealing. And and you know me, I like to tease it a little bit here. If you've watched these lives, so I thought. I was like, I'll take a look and then we'll show you guys later. I feel like that's that's the fair way to do it. We'll make you stick around a little bit longer. But I do want to shout out a few people who uh, are tuning in today. You know, I've seen people coming from Ohio, Florida, Minnesota. I actually saw someone from Wisconsin who's out there, which I know, you know, is is very near and dear to your heart, Ben. They've got over 400 yeah. Zippo lighters in their, their collection. We've got Dubai checking in, Staten Island, Ottawa, Canada. I mean, we really are going global here. Bangladesh, my goodness, so all cool. over the world today. This, this is so incredible, cool. which awesome. is, you know, honestly, there's so much synergy there because of what you guys are doing, you know, with your, yeah. your buy one, you know, plant one program. So I know that you guys, I, I'd love to, you know, pull up some photos here. There's just some really, really stunning, you know, imagery you were sharing about like where it started and where it's gone. Like what, what, what images are we looking at here? Where were these trees planted? Yeah, totally. So these are with one of our planting partners in Madagascar. Uh, So we worked every year we work on a new planting site with Zippo and with whatever collection we're kind of launching with them. Um, So, you know, we've done trees in uh, just north of Yosemite National Park. We've done trees in Colorado. And this specific site is Madagascar. Uh, So uh, I actually went with Lucas, uh, one of the directors at Zippo. Him and I flew out to Madagascar and um, worked with this local partner to, to plant trees and to kind of really help Lucas and his Zippo team understand the incredible impact that they're having globally on global, uh, on on an incredible global level, simply by, you know, working with Woodchuck. That's incredible. That's absolutely amazing. Um, It's just stunning. And how cool that you guys get to go there and be boots on the ground and see where these trees are being planted and and it's just it's got to be such a full circle moment for you knowing that you know this inspiration of walking through that national park and seeing that sign about 100 years ago you know these trees weren't here and now your boots on the ground going and planting these trees and some somebody 100 years from now is going to walk through those spaces yep. and see all those trees and it's just yep. like the circle keeps going. Yep. It's just Absolutely. so incredibly cool. Uh, you, you mentioned 3 million trees. I know that we we have a really cool video that we want to share with everyone right now. Um, yeah. so if the team at Zippo could pull that up, let, let, let's show that, that video. This year, Woodchuck USA planted its 3 millionth tree, which is enough trees to fill every major sports stadium in the world three times over. 
We started the company 10 years ago with the simple mission of connecting people to nature, bringing jobs back to America, and quality back to products. Through our Buy One, Plant One program, we proudly enable our employees, companies, and our tree planting partners to all work together to reforest the planet. Woodchuck USA is proof that when everyone is rowing in the same direction, no matter the size of the team, global impact can happen. Our employees are proof that when you have something greater to work for, you show up to work in an entirely different way. We hope to be an inspiration to other companies to adopt a socially responsible mission and inspire other mission-driven companies to amplify their efforts. Thanks for choosing Woodchuck USA and supporting our mission of reforestation. Wow. I get jacked up even watching that. I mean, I, I'm time. ready to get my shovel and run out to the local park and plant a tree. Like, Absolutely. I'm, I'm so uh, inspired. Uh, I got to hear it from you, and, and I want everyone listening and watching to hear it as well. Is How does it feel to be a part of this movement of, of reforesting the planet? I think the, the most impactful piece, and this is something that I personally love to give as many people as possible, is the experience that happens. And I can't explain it because I'm, I, you know, I, I don't understand the physiology behind it. Someone actually commented mm -hmm. in here, you know, hey, when you hug a tree, there's something physiologically that happens. Yeah. When you get your hands on dirt and like physically plant a tree, there's like something that happens there that like mm -hmm. connects you to the planet in a super calming way. And it sounds, yeah. you know, a little bit foo-foo, uh, and I'm not a foo foo guy, but but it is absolutely incredible. So so how does it feel? It feels great. It, you know, it feels great to say, hey, we've we've helped reforest and we're helping reforest the planet. But what feels even better is when you can give someone else a gift of planting a tree mm -hmm. and help them psychologically understand and change their relationship with what nature is. Um, so to answer your question, it, it's it is amazing. It's an amazing gift to be able to give that. It's got to be one of those like beyond words sort of experiences. Like it's just a feeling and, and yeah. you know, feelings are amazing because they can't be summed up with words. You know, yeah. they're just bigger than that. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, we saw in that video, you have an incredible team that you work with. And one yeah. of those individuals, one of your designers is here with us today. So I want to go ahead he and is. bring in uh, Nate. Nate, come on and join, uh, join the live stream here with us. Nate is the man. There he is. Howdy. Did, we, did we see a little bit of Nate in that video? I feel like I saw Nate sitting at a desk. Yes, you did. Yep. You did. Nate, Nate is our incredible lead designer. He's been with us for quite some time. Um, he's an incredible asset to the team. He figures out the most challenging projects and makes them come to life. So That's incredible. And Nate is the designer of the lighter that we're going to be revealing here today, correct? <laughs> That's amazing. Right. All right. Well, uh, well, Ben, I think we're going to let you step step aside and let's let's put Nate in the spotlight here and, and pepper him with some questions. You cool with that? Thank, you bet. Thanks for having me, Danny. Have a good yeah, one. Of course, Ben. This is a pleasure. Uh, so, Nate, you know, we're going to reveal this design here in a moment. But before we do that, I'd love to show um, some of the designs that, that you have created uh, over over the years. And, and look at this. I mean, this is stunning. Absolutely amazing. How, how did you get started with uh, with Woodchuck? How'd that come to be? Um, well, I actually went to the U of M, um, the same program as Ben, studying architecture. Um, and then I also did some work in product design. Um, and so okay. just started at the company, um, running the machines as a laser operator. And once I finished my degree, then I kind of worked my way into the design department um, and have been doing that ever since. It's been really fun. Amazing. Uh, what was the first lighter that you ever designed for Zippo? Um, the one on the far right, um, actually helping to create the full wrap for the Zippo, which is a new product for us. Um, typically, we're just doing wood emblems on the front and back. Um, this is a really cool kind of R&D project to figure out how to get a full wrap around the lighter and just create a new unique product. Yeah, what's that process got to be like? Because, you know, we think of wood as being a pretty, you know, for the most part, a rigid material, right? Like, so to get that look of one consistent piece of wood wrapped all the way around, like, was, was that a challenge to, to figure that out? And how long did it take you to, to figure, to crack the code on it? 
Yeah, definitely. It's been a uh, quite a process uh, just working with our production team and kind of fine tuning um, our machines and lasers to get cut the material just thin enough where you can bend it um, yet still maintain a strong uh, finish and product. Um, and so all of our products we use an industrial grade adhesive with um, and just the wood veneer um, actually has some flexibility, which allows us to mm. do these unique designs. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And I know that you were, you know, part of the team who worked with a, a very iconic adult beverage company in Tennessee recently. Uh, you know, you, you did a design and you guys did something very cool with barrels, right? Like you used barrel wood for that. Yes, design. we actually um, a little bit? shaved down the barrels um, to a veneer thickness that would allow us to actually machine it and use it in our products. Um, and that was a really fun process, kind of figuring out how to do that. Um, one of my favorite parts about Working for Woodchuck and design in general is just reclaiming materials or using materials in like an interesting or unexpected way. Um, so that was really fun. Amazing. Uh, we had a question that uh, just came in from a gentleman by the name of Mike Post. He wants to know what is uh, what's your favorite design that you've ever done? Um, I mean, honestly, I think it might be the one we're about to reveal today. Um, <laughs> Great answer. But besides that, yeah, I think the full wrap's really cool trying to figure out um, – consistent texture that was uniform was a really fun project amazing well you know i feel like we've teased it long enough you know i, I pulled out the the box earlier I, I think we should reveal this new design considering you just shared that it's your favorite one you've ever done so uh i'm thrilled here we go drum roll please uh this is the new design from Woodchuck and Zippo that's going to be available on Zippo.com here today. Um, let, let's pull up a big screen there, uh, Zippo team, so we can we can show everybody this stunning design that Nate has come up with. Look at that thing. That's incredible. Now, now what are we looking at? Like the white piece, like the skull, is that wood as well? Or what am I looking at there? No, so that's actually a stone veneer. Um, and that was kind of the inspiration or Part of the reason for making this product is just experimenting with new materials. Um, yeah. And so that's, yeah, and actually it's a white um, stone slate veneer, um, kind of similar to our wood veneer process. Um, but while I was looking at it, it kind of, the idea of bones and that kind of texture just popped in my head. And that was kind of part of the emphasis that led to the design. Yeah. I mean, I also love that you've got these punch outs in the stone veneer and then you see the metal of the lighter showing through, you know, the the right eye and then through the nose as well. I just I, I love the mixture of materials from from metal to stone to wood. It just feels like all these all these elements are sort of coming together in this design. So cool. Yeah, definitely. I what? think I like uh, getting those little windows. So you can get the shimmer of light on the uh, silver is always fun and it kind of catches the eye. And is, is there any sort of uh, symbolism or thinking behind, you know, the flowers that are sort of, you know, blooming out of out of the skull here? Yeah, um, well, I mean, we're up in Minnesota, which is very cold. And so basically every spring is kind of a celebration of the world coming back to life. Um, and obviously death and life are kind of intimately uh, interlinked. Um, and so just trying to demonstrate that relationship with the design. Yeah. I mean, this thing is this thing is stunning. Now, what I love about what you guys are doing, obviously, we've talked about the buy one, plant one, and I'm sure a lot of people are are, are curious. If you're like me, you want to know like where is that tree? And what I love is that inside the box here, there is a sticker that's got a unique code on it that you can go to woodchuckusa.com. You can put in this code, and you can actually find out uh, where where your tree was planted and the impact that it's making. I assume that's something you guys do with, with all the products, correct? Yep. Every single product we make um, gets one of those. We call them BOPO buy one, plant one cards. Um, and that will okay. give you a code that you can type in. We'll tell you the exact um, land, longitude and longitude of uh, your tree location. Amazing. Um, we got another question that that's come in from another fan who's watching. You know, we talked about your favorite design, which is, which is the new one that's just come out. Is there anything specific that you're just drawn to, like animals, patriotic symbols that you you love designing around that, that sort of connects with you in general? Um, yeah, like, um, as I was saying, kind of the mixed materials, I really enjoy working with those, um, as well as kind of geometric designs and balancing, um, you know, more geometric look with some of the natural, natural flowers and textures. 
Um, but yeah, I love kind of trying to identify working with other brands and seeing what their kind of image and icon iconography is and um, yeah. kind of making something that matches that aesthetic. Right. Now, what's cool is, you know, in, in streams past, you know, we've usually waited till the end of the stream to make the lighter available for purchase. But right now, if you go to Zippo.com, I see a lot of people are asking about this, you know, in the comments is when is it going to be available? Well, if you go to Zippo.com right now or just click, click the link that is in the comments for this video, it'll take you directly to the purchase page so you can get your hands on this lighter. You know, as as is the case, you know, with pretty much every artist live stream series event we do, this is limited to 250 units. And I'm sure, as you all know, who are avid collectors and lovers of Zippo, these things go very, very fast. So I would suggest uh, clicking that link now keep us open in the background so you can hear us still chatting about you know the product and, and zippo but make sure you get your hands on this and um you know if you've got any friends out there who would love this design you know grab it for them obviously the holidays is coming up super super quick here and uh i always i'm a huge proponent of you know get that shopping done early so that way once you get to the holiday season you can just like sit back relax um and and enjoy um so I'm curious, you know, obviously you, you've, you've created all these incredible designs, you know, for Woodchuck and Woodchuck and, and, and Zippo. Have you always been drawn to artistic endeavors? Was this something that you sort of latched onto as a kid or did it sort of come to you, you know, as you got a little bit older? Um, yeah, I've always loved um, building things with my hands and playing with uh, sandcastles ever since a little kid. Um, and then kind of in high school, I started doing more art, art projects, um, taking a lot of art classes. Um, and then moving into college, working in um, architecture, I kind of realized that I liked product design a little more because it allowed you to express your creativity a little bit um, without right. as much restrictions as a, creating a full building. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I love love drawing, sketching, try to play a little guitar in my free time. But <laughs> yeah, free time. What's that? Uh, I, I would I would love some of that. Um, you know what's cool though, and this has got to be cool for you. I don't know if you saw this pop up in the comments, but you know we have a, a viewer named Dorak who's watching, and they've already purchased uh, their lighter. Awesome. That's that's got to be such a, a cool feeling for you to sort of you know think back to when you first started, you know, working your way up, getting hired by Woodchuck, and now to know that people all around the world are are purchasing designs um that you have created like like how cool is it for you to know that there's a large group of people who are buying something that was created inside your mind oh it's super motivating and exciting i mean it definitely gives me a drive to keep doing more um yeah i've always been kind of ever since a kid looking around wondering how things are made what is mm. that how does it come together um and so kind of having that same experience with your own product is pretty fun because you know all the details and behind the scenes yeah, it's incredible. I mean, it's always amazing when something that pops into your mind that it connects with somebody else and and they want to purchase it. And, and in this case, you know, carry it in their pocket and sort of take it with them all around the world. Um, we have another question that's come in from a viewer named Scott. Uh, Scott wants to know, what is the most challenging project you've ever worked on? Hmm. Um, we work on a lot of custom packaging where we include very custom components. Um, so anything that's kind of utilizing outside components new technologies um we just recently are making a box that has a music um component inside so when you open it Whoa. it's light activated and plays a little sound for the user um and basically anything that's not rectangular i think behind us was a um arby's barrel that we actually made um for their company for a release of a new product um okay and so figuring out how to Get the round shape with a 2D laser cutter was a challenge, but it's always fun. I imagine it's a pretty collaborative process over there, right? You know, because it's one thing to come up with a design, but sometimes it's like, well, how do we turn this design into something real and, and practical? Is that, is that a big part of the culture over there at Woodchuck is, is collaboration? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have a really big emphasis on design to manufacturing and working with our production team. So I'm talking every day with our lead production manager and kind of asking him, hey, can we make this? Is there anything we can tweak to make it simpler for um, the rest of our team? Um, and it's a very back and forth collaborative process for sure. That's 
That's incredible. Um, and I, I want to reiterate to everyone who is, you know, watching, because I know we've got a lot of people all around the world who we shouted out earlier, is you, if you have questions for, for Nate, please drop them in the comment section here. You know, a huge part of this artist live stream series is that you guys are a part of this. You know, it, it's obviously, you know, Nate and myself or Ben and myself having the conversation, but we want to we hear directly from you and, and maybe questions that you have, uh, you know, about um, the design process. And, and speaking of, we have a question that just came in uh, from our friend Dorak, who has already purchased uh, this lighter specifically. And um, and Doric wants to know, do you have a favorite Zippo product specifically? I think we we maybe touched on that a little bit earlier, but are there others that that stand out in your mind? Um, I do enjoy the butane torches are. I just like them personally because I think they're kind of fun. Um, <laughs> but also the, the gold standard um, base model, as well as the kind of moniker... Um, cannot think of the word but it's like the blue marbled metal um texture mm. i really like those colors um and being able to use kind of cut throughs like we did with the skull to show the base of materials fun that's amazing um and is there a base model dork also wants to know is there a base model that is easy to design for you guys like is there something that's easier for you guys than other things um our standard kind of plaque um, is the easiest because it's a uniform shape every time. Right. Um, but along with that, it allows us uh, the freedom to kind of do more unique things, um, such as inlays um, or cut throughs. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, how long? Like when I when I look at this lighter, like how long is the process of? Because there's, I'm assuming there's there's laser cutting involved here for the flowers that we're seeing on there. Um, is it a laser involved in punching? this out or is that a, a different you know yep. process so both, yeah both materials like? used are um both cut on our laser cutters um we have okay. eight large format cutters here um and so yep we have a team of operators and we jig kind of each individual sheet um and we'll cut them separately um so they fit together perfect and then are, are these all assembled by hand or is there a machine that does that no these are all hand assembled that's incredible. I mean, that just goes back to what Ben, you know, was sharing earlier is that, you know, one of his his early sort of whys behind this company was, you know, he he wanted to bring jobs back to America, you know, and this idea that obviously you've got the laser cutters that, that are cutting this, but that, you know, it's not a machine putting these things together. It's not outsourced, you know, elsewhere. It's happening here by hand, you know, where you guys are, are out there in, in the in the Midwest, which is just um Absolutely incredible. I know we've got uh, a few few minutes left here, so I don't know if Ben is is still around. If maybe Ben's able to, or it looks like Ben's not here anymore. I was going to bring it back in so we could all you know get together here to sort of you know close this thing out. But but if you love what you see uh, here today, go to Zippo.com right now. Again, that link is in the comments for you to go get your hands um, on this lighter. Uh, limited to 250, so you're going to want to make sure that you uh, you get over there quickly because, as we have learned with these artist live stream events, these things go very, very, very fast. And uh, I think Nate, your your full collection uh, is is there as well. Um, what I love, you know, about these artist live stream limited releases is that they also come with an individually uh, signed certificate of authenticity, um, which will be included in the box that you receive. And again, you know, personally, I think this is one of the coolest elements is that. When you buy this, a tree is going to get planted, you know, somewhere uh, here on our planet, and you'll be able to track that tree for the rest of your life. And you know, if you want, you can pass it on to your kids. And like, how cool that you, as like a family, as a unit, can track the growth uh, of this tree over over time. And it just comes from making one small purchase. So, uh, Nate, appreciate you being here today. Ben, I'm, I'm sure you're somewhere in the universe watching this right now as well. I'm just, I'm so blown away by what you guys are doing, uh, at Woodchuck. So please, uh, make sure you get yours today. Uh, the, the link is in the comments, you know, we'll be back with another artist live stream event, uh, super, super, super soon. Um, yeah, this has been a blast. Nate, appreciate you, man. Ben, yeah, thanks, appreciate Danny. you. Um, you know, can't wait to uh, hopefully get out to uh, Minnesota someday and connect with you guys in person. And you know, I'll bring my shovel so we can go plant some trees together. That'll be, that'll be a blast. Let's do it. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for watching. If you're not doing so, please make sure you, uh, you know, like, subscribe, follow Zippo on all the socials on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you're watching, and even wherever you're not watching, go go follow them there as well. 
Uh, we'll be back with another artist live stream event very, very soon. And the best way to get the alerts about that is to follow on social media because that's where the team posts all the updates uh, about those specific events. Anyway, go get your lighter. I've got mine. I'm stoked. I'm going to throw a butane uh, thing in it like, like Nate was mentioning earlier and, and light this thing up. So have a great weekend, everyone. It's been a pleasure. See you later. Bye-bye.